Isn't this a beautiful 1955 Ford? Nate Minkoff put 1,100 hours of his own time, plus all of his friends and other people to help make this truck look beautiful. Before, it was just some old truck, but he saw the hope and he saw what it could be, and he took all the time to make it the way it was supposed to be. This is close to the original color. He did all these beautiful things. He had to rewire the whole thing just so he could make it just right. You know, this reminds me of what God wants to do with us as a shepherd. Remember in verse 3 of Psalm 23, he restores my soul. You see, our life puts us through all sorts of things. We get banged up and beat up emotionally, physically. There's all these things that happen to us with relationships, with finances, just with our own choices. And we're filled with guilt and shame and regret. And yet, here the shepherd says, I will restore your soul. I will continually restore. Not only will I make you new, but I will continually keep you restored, which is a promise that we need every day because life always throws a curveball at us. Because there are times when people say something to me. There are times when people do something to me and I feel beat up even after I've been restored. But God says, I will continually restore your soul. I will make you new. In 2 Corinthians 5, it says this, there, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has gone, the new has come. And all this is from God, who reconciled us to himself through Christ and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. Christ comes into our life, and he cleans out all of our sin, and he makes us new, and the old is gone. We're completely restored. And then he says this, I will continue to restore you as you live life with me. Isn't that a beautiful promise from our shepherd today? So this is my challenge for you today. There are times when we live in our past rather than live in our present. And our present is, with Jesus as our Lord and Savior, our present is that I'm restored. And so let's live in the present today and let's take those things that come from our past, the guilt, the shame, the regret, and let's get rid of that today. And let's live in the present of what Christ has done in us, making us fully restored. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we're so thankful that you have given us restoration, that you have made us new. And Lord, may we live in that newness, staying close to you as you continually restore our soul. In Jesus' name, amen. May you have a wonderful day and we'll see you tomorrow.